They did this. They are the ones who looked in the face of somebody who said, I want to be a dictator on day one. We did this. Take a look at what this MSNBC host has to say. It's definitely worth checking out. Not the people who deliver Trump, which is Generation X, my generation. Mm -hmm. They got a little coin in the bank. They just want a tax cut. They are not the people who are struggling. It is the people Claire described are those millennials who can't, like my kids. I have a Z and I have millennials. They can't afford their lives. We still have to help them. They, they are trying and they are striving. That's the people who are struggling. They took a chance on that lady. They had the faith in the future to say that this black and Asian woman could lead this country. So that's where we need to bet on the young. My generation, Generation X, the people who grew up on WWE and Hulk Hogan and Donald (laughs) Trump did this. They did this. They are the ones who looked in the face of somebody who said, I want to be a dictator on day one. We did this. We did this to our kids. Our elders, our seniors, our 65 plus split 50, 49 in her favor. So they washed either way. But our generation has to really take a really long, hard look because we are not the people struggling that Claire described. It's the young people that we've now condemned to mass deportation. In simple terms, the MSNBC host is saying that it's not Generation X, the generation with stable finances and a desire for tax cuts, that's really struggling. Instead, it's the younger generation, like millennials and Gen Z, who are having a tough time making ends meet and often rely on help from their families. She explains that these younger generations place their hopes in Kamala Harris, seeing her as a symbol of progress by choosing a black and Asian woman to lead. She believes it's Generation X's responsibility to reflect on their role in this situation, especially since they supported someone like Trump, who she describes as openly wanting strong control or dictatorship-like power. In her view, Generation X made decisions that have left the younger generation to face challenges, such as issues related to immigration policies and potential mass deportations. Essentially, she's calling for Gen X to consider the impact of their choices on the future of younger people. If you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.